Hello and welcome to this wonderful game. Well, I don't know if it's a wonderful game. We will see about that. I saw, yeah, a little advertisement about it and I thought it could be nice, it could be interesting. To cut the story short, we are, yeah, a barkeeper. We own a tavern and apparently the king died and now this position is free to grab. And what better start than to be a bartender to end up as king. What do you think? Let's start a new campaign and see what happens. Damn, Chris. Yeah, let's skip that and uh, you know what? I just want a game. I don't have too much time so I just want to have a little, yeah, little view what's happening. So there's a little tutorial. Build mode, yeah. Okay, and here we are in our little game here. We can move around. This is our little tavern and this is the person that we actually get this tavern from. And this is something that will happen more often. We will have little dialogues where we can choose from certain answers and you can choose with your dialogues and the story changes a little bit and depending on what skills you've got, you can have different results coming out of it. So. Good news, I've managed to convince the miller to have his son's wedding party at our inn. A wedding, uh, okay. Wonderful news, we can finally make it the inn of our dreams. Here? But that's a lot of people, there isn't enough room. Well, this is actually true because we, yeah, I mean it's a wedding. We don't have that much room for, yeah, so many people, but, I mean it is wonderful news. Let's go with this. We will. We will make it possible. Exactly. What's more, I took an advance payment to cover the expansion of our inn. Otherwise all these people would never fit inside. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you will take care of that. Oh, okay. You received 5,000 goldens. Alright, I can't wait. Let's begin. So, I close the inn for now and no one will disturb you. Do you need my help or can you handle it by yourself? Well, I guess I could need some help. Let's do a little tutorial since this is the first time that I touch this game actually. So, let's get to work. First we need to expand the main hall, expand it by a few slots. That should be enough breathing space for the guests. Okay, so let's go into the build mode. Expand. We want to expand this hall here. Can move around and expand it here there we go so this will be built all on its own and the next dialogue now let's set up some tables the more places to sit the more guests can be served simultaneously but be careful not to go over the budget yep i'm on it uh, i'll do it i'm on it but there's so much space here they're just getting in the way i'm on it okay let's see what we can build here i would say we've got two windows here which should be a nice view outside. So how can we rotate? I actually skipped it. <laughs> All right, with the Q and E I can rotate and I can even move with the normal WASD. Um, I like it this way actually, so that people can sit here and here and both sides can look outside. How many tables do I need? I need three tables. Alright. So, let's build the next... Whoa! The music just switched suddenly. But that's fine, that's fine. So, I would say next one here in the corner. Or we put it here. Then we can put maybe a, a candle there. There we go. Okay, since you're setting up the tables, you will also need benches, just standard ones, all right? And make sure they face and adjoin the tables. A few normal benches, understood. I'm on it, uncle, weird, how? No, I'm on it. Okay, let's get some benches. Are these the standard simple bench? Yes, okay. There you go. So I need to turn this one around, yes. Get you there, here. This should be it. Now, next. I've been thinking, 
It's kind of dark in here. Better place a candle holder somewhere, otherwise people might stab each other with the forks instead of the food. Okay, yeah, that should be good if they, yeah, if the clients don't stab each other before they pay, at least. Okay, I will install the candle holder right away. Too bad. Kind of liked it more when it dark. <laughs> okay, right away. So, this is why I put some room here. I'm sure there's something nice. What is this, for example? Oh, this is torch. Let's put something nice then. Or let's put on top of each table. There. Kind of like that. Nice and light. It's almost ready. Just take this barrel and place it close to the counter. It's for serving drinks and we don't want to spend too much time running back and forth. Carry the barrel. Understood. I'll go get it. Can't you just bring it yourself? Fine, I'm going. Nah, let's go for it. I'm motivated. So, where is this barrel? I wanna the open. Is leveling up. Ah, that's good for him. Okay, simple barrel, wine barrel. Uh, let's take this one, I guess it's better. Because there's a little green thing here. So, let's put this one right here. Yeah. Ah, little music. Great job. We could still add a few things, but overall it looks pretty good. Nothing special. The interior looks better than ever. So much work and it looks barely better. Yeah, I mean, for now it's nothing special. For now. Well, I see you lack no enthusiasm today. Get to work then. Collect your reward from the innkeeper's journal. And when you're done, let me know. There's something else I need to talk to you about. Okay, and conversation. Okay. Here we've got a journal. Let's check for that. Whoa! What the... Dude, that is scary looking. What is this? Just randomly appeared. Oh, well, there, there are people just popping up everywhere. Are we still closed? Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's go into the journal. Um, reward. There is nothing. Where is the reward? Ah, there it is. Okay. Ah, 1000. Got it. Okay. Here we've got a little skill tree even. So depending on which guests or clientele I want to have, I can unlock new things here. Um, for now, I don't know yet how to call it. So I don't want to call it yet. Maybe we'll have... Um, yeah, some cool ideas. Maybe you guys can put some ideas about the name. What do you think this tavern should be called? Just put it down into the comment section and um, I'm sure there will be some nice inspirational names. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm so. not too old for this shit, but <laughs> I'm getting close. <laughs> okay, Martin. You handled everything very well and so since you're an adult now, I would like to give this in over to you. Wow, what, what? We already get it? Wow, that is cool. From now on, you will be managing it. Oh, okay. Martin, thank you so much. I'm happy. Ah, not so much. But I thank him so much. We just got an in for free, guys. <laughs> Finally, I had enough of <laughs> you passing me around. No, I'm so happy. Okay. Let's go for this one. Since you were managing the inn, a lot of difficult conversation awaits you. Remember to make use of some sublime dialogue techniques like oratory, deception, intimidation, passion and wisdom. I don't know if your enthusiasm comes from sensitivity or maybe you're just sweet talking me. But I'm sure oratory and passion ain't strangers to you. Still, sometimes using the other skills might prove a better move. Think you can handle it? Okay, Martin, how could I not handle it when I have had such a great teacher? This would be the same oratory, but we, we got it already. So let's pick something else. I've no need for such tricks. I'll be fine as long as people fear me. <laughs> okay, this would be intimidation then. Of course I can handle it. I've mastered all of those techniques and more. <laughs> Deception. Okay, so we can also see what's kind of happening, what could be happening. 
I strongly believe that uh, if my words come straight from my heart, no obstacle will stand in my way. There is passion. Every problem can be solved if you approach it rationally. Okay, so... Here we've got our chances, which one could... Oh yeah, okay, because I've got these ones already stronger. Yeah, let's go for this one. Ha! I wouldn't believe anybody, anyone else, but with that all-knowing brain of yours, nothing is impossible. Alright, relationship with Martin Titans, noticeable reacts when talking to you. Uncle, you're overreacting. First things first, you will never know for sure that a given technique will work. The more you use it, the more effective it will become, regardless of whether it was successful or not. Obviously, the more I practice, the better I get, but it's never a certain success. Got it. People may have different directions to specific techniques, so it's important to use more than one. You know me well, so it's not difficult for you to talk to me, but others won't be that easy. Alright, so when will you let me talk to someone else? Oh, who's this guy? He looks... <laughs> weird. What's wrong with his hand? Hello? My Hello, sir. Rockberry! Well met, innkeeper. I've heard that you're expanding the main hall. That can only mean one thing, you've convinced the military of his son's wedding at your place. And if that's the case, you will need alcohol. How many barrels of wine should I get you? Hmm, and how much will six barrels cost us? Thank you, but I don't think we'll be buying anything from you, esteemed prince. Right, and who in their right mind would want to drink that piss you call wine, Rockberry? Hmm, let's see how much it costs. Finally, a voice of reason. Six barrels for, let's say, 12,000 gulden per barrel. So, 72,000 guldens in total. Let's round it down to 70,000. How much? There's no way we can get that kind of money. I'm sorry to hear that, but you don't have a choice. Ever since King Owen died, there are no new rules, new laws. I'm the only ones who regulates trade in Eastern Yorvale. The wine will come from my cellars or there won't be any wine at all. So what will it be? Esteemed Prince, by hindering freedom of trade, you're inconveniencing every citizen in your domain. Okay, there we've got 80 to 20 percent. Let's go with something else. It would be an honor, unfortunately, us simple innkeepers cannot afford your majesty noble drinks. Mm, still not good. I said we are not buying so we are not. Get lost Dukey. <laughs> I like this one. Your wine is at least 20 times overpriced even a child would realize that. Mm, okay this one is the least successful but this is definitely too much so let's go with this one. Is that so? Well perhaps the price is indeed a little steep but the best wine in the area deserves it. Oh, Titans even, okay. The only wine in the area... Well, a simple innkeeper like you shouldn't question decisions made by those of a higher status. Farewell. Yep, farewell guy. So, I mean, maybe there will be no alcohol anyway. <laughs> Goddamn, Rockberry, how did he manage to get that monopoly? If he truly has exclusivity on trading booze, it will be really difficult to buy fairly priced alcohol. I'm sure we'll find a solution. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Why do we care about that childish nobleman? Let's find someone else who'll sell us wine. So it's over. We'll have to cancel the wedding. No, 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 no. We will find something else. Wait, I might have a way. We will need a notice board. I want you to post a message saying, A cuckoo always cuckoos twice. Relationship? Okay. A cuckoo what? Hmm, okay. I trust you know what you're doing, Martin. And then what? The birds will bring us booze? <laughs> Alright, no, I trust him, I trust him. I know, I know, my boy, just do what I'm asking. Yes, I will. So, let's get a notice board then. Where is it? There it is. No, I will not put it in front of the window, otherwise people can't see it. There. Secret note. Can you please put the secret note? Stop that. Stop cleaning, Martin. Martin? Where are you going, Martin? 
I'm not too old for this shit, but I'm getting close. Come on, Martin, we need to... Can you please stop what you're doing? <laughs> Martin, we really need to put this... Ah, finally. Thank you, Martin. Okay, that's this. Unlock a new social group in the innkeeper's journal, I guess. Yep, journal. Okay, let's do this then. There we go. Okay, here we can go. Downfall. Ah, I can just unlock them. Okay, let's get the outlaws then. Outlaws it is. There we go. Sure, there will nothing happen if we've got l plenty of outlaws in our room. Anyway, now all we need to do is wait. Waiting is the hardest task of all. I hate waiting. If only we could speed up time. But well, luckily we can speed up time. There we go. Time sped up. Okay. Talk to the stranger. We've got a stranger coming. With a super nice scarf. Hello, stranger. Run me. A cook always cooks twice. <laughs> okay. And a crow only calls once. Hello, Martin. I've received a message that you need my help. It's about Rockberry, isn't it? Wait, hold on. Who is this kid? Is he... Do we say nothing? I'm not a kid. Last week I turned 18. Well, let's just not say anything. This is my nephew. He's the boss around here now. Martin, give me a break. I'm still learning. Exactly. Was that supposed to be sarcastic? Have it your way. Let's get down to business. Other innkeepers are also complaining and I'm trying to stay on top of it. So I know all about your issue. It so happens that I have a barrel of fantastic Ruggerson wine smuggle important straight from Sambria. If you can sell it quickly, I'll be able to get more and perhaps even involve you in a trade on a bigger scale. Let's do it then. We'll be smuggling booze right under Rockberry's nose. Great, let's do this. No way I won't be mad. No. Let's do this. Oh, and one more thing. Listen up, kid. I'm listening. What we're doing here is not exactly... Let's just say that some folks would disapprove of it. Since it's you who will be in charge, I want to make sure that in a dangerous situation you are able to, well, say something that isn't exactly the truth or even threaten someone. Oh heavens, I have never told a lie in my life. Can I threaten someone? You wouldn't want to find out. I will do anything I can for the sake of my companions, business and gold. I don't need a resort to such cheap tricks. A classy businessman like yourself must understand that. The only difference between legal and illegal is the letter of the law. But deep inside, everyone's a businessman. I'll figure something out. Okay, how are we looking for the percentages? Wisdom. Let's go with wisdom then. Okay, ho ho! So young and yet so smart and reasonable. Splendid. I see I have nothing to worry. So what about the wine? Ah yes, here's a barrel. I've got it just somewhere in my pocket here under my beautiful scarf or cape. Um, ah yes, here's a barrel. And farewell for now, innkeepers. Yes, I've got a wine. Cool. And conversation. What the? What is wrong with this? Good for us. If we can distribute this wine, we won't have to pay Rockberry anything. And we will, however, need more workforce. Here's some money for expenses. Nice. I will need help. Yeah, I will need help. Let's begin. First look around for caretaker. Caretaker. Yeah, I saw a girl around here recently, even though she smelled like pipe herbs. She seemed proficient. Pipe herbs, proficient. All right, I will find her and offer her a job. Let's just go for it. Great, and in the meanwhile, I will pour the wine into the barrel. Cool, let's just go for it. Didn't read anything of the tutorial, so there we go. Okay, here we go, and we can... Is this one? Tesney. All right, let's go with Tesney then. Yeah, I don't want to follow this guy. Where is she? Before we open the inn, it would be good to clean up after the renovation. Order the caretaker to take care of that. It doesn't have to be rigorous. The faster, the better. We want to open as soon as possible. 
Make sure the room is clean, got it. You can select which tasks have higher or lower priority for your worker. It's up to you to decide if the worker should care more about speed, accuracy or their own comfort. Okay. Okay. So this should be... Are you Tesney? I live to serve. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So, let's get this place cleaned up. Okay, I've got something here. Break. There. Clean. Nice. We can prepare the inn now. Uh, I guess now he's actually doing all the stuff that I wanted him to do. Uh, come on, let's speed this up. You're already what having a smoke. Alright. The wine is in the barrel, now simply add it to the menu. You learn the new zero mug of table wine. To the menu. Yes, so that the guests know what they can actually order. Right, we need wine on the menu. Let's grab something. Put it on the menu. There we go. Ingredients. Yes, we've got that. There. Can you please someone clean that? Shh. Look, I... I didn't hire you to smoke. So... Please. Ready for anything? Yeah, well, Tesney. Go for it. Do something. Come on. Stop smoking. Time to make some money. Let's try to sell all Remney's wine. It, it's gonna be around 12 goblets. Get to it. All right. Let's let's open. Are we open now? Okay. Sell wine. Well, I really don't <laughs> like my my caretaker. What can I do for you? Come on. Do some cleaning now. Oh my god. That filled up quickly. Yeah, well, I would like to give you some stuff, but... So, now things are happening. Bring me something to drink. Yes. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. I'm thirsty. Get this man something to drink. By the way, you still didn't clean up this mess here. Here in the corner. Clean that up. Okay, did I sell something yet? Not yet. They are filling. Okay, that's good. Okay, they can stand in in each other. That's good. What are you doing? I hope this means you're filling up stuff. <laughs> well... Right now, the pile of dirty dishes is bigger than the pile of money we are supposed to be making. We could use a dishwasher. A dishwasher. Let's put this outside, shall we? Are you a dishwasher? Yep. Let's wash dishes outside, shall we? There. There we go. Nice. Make sure the room is clean. Finally, someone cleaned it up. I can still see the stains, but... Well, good enough. There, some money is going in. Nice. 7,000 now. I would say we could even get a second caretaker because, um, yeah. Well, things are happening very slow. I got a message from Remney. He wants to expand our cooperation. He thinks of distributing wine to a whole of Eastern Yorvale. Not only will this guarantee us constant supply, we will also make some money on distributing itself. All we need to do is set up a stash on our first floor so that Leech Rockberry doesn't find out. Okay, how do I do a second floor then? I'm too old to carry all these barrels myself. There are a lot of drudges in the area. Find one and hire him. Hire a drudge. On it. Are you a drudge? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I should get a drink. Or two. Or five. I saw the blacksmith just a second ago. He was drunk as a skunk and coming from the direction of your inn. Where did you get the booze for sale? Okay. Well, let's see what we can say to him. He was already drunk when he came here. I swear on my honor. 80% to 20, okay. We used to have a barrel of wine 
But it was from your very own winery. No, I don't think this will work. How do you know he came from our inn? He might have been just passing by. Hmm, that's already better. There's some wisdom going on here. What do I care that this black got drunk? Does the duke not have other matters to attend to? Well, this is also not that well. We could go with passion. Wisdom seems good here. Let's go with that. There are no other places around here where you could get wasted. It must have been your inn. Perhaps a substantial fine will make you respect the law. Do not test me. Okay, we just lost this. Anything else? What? Ah, right, yes, I'm warning you, innkeeper. Starting today, I'll be performing routine inspections to find illegal liquor. Farewell. Well, this was not too well, what you just did. Anyway, let's get it. Get some new people here. Elias, drudge. Let's come here. I need someone who do, can do the, the hard work. Alright. Finally, ambitions young man for ambitious work. First tell him to declutter the entrance to the attic. Alright, I'm on it. The first batch sold, very well. How do you feel in your new role? The mess is hard to control. I wasn't aware that an innkeeper has to watch over so many things at once. Fantastic. I'm just sitting and watching you do all the work. <laughs> now, there is still... There is definitely a lot of stuff to go. Yes. There we go. At first it might feel like that, but don't worry, my boy. I'll show you the ropes and you'll get the hang of it. Okay. The sooner the better. We'll have an opportunity for that soon enough. Remember, Remney is introducing us to as he calls it, a bigger market. Okay, let's remove this. Let's speed this up until our... What's his name in again? This is a tough night. Elias. Elias, I, have two biceps, I will need to, ready to, work. to do this. Okay. I sold all of Remney's wine. 1,000 guldens, perfect. Can you stop washing dishes, please? I need you to clear the attic. Come on, yes, perfect, perfect. Go to work. <laughs> Get to work here. Your employee <laughs> is leveling up. Needed for one of the dishes. Stop stroking the the stones. Just remove them, okay? Perfect. That's more like it. To use our storage now, we need to place some containers in it. A storage shelf and at least two barrels should be enough. So, let's check. We can go up one floor and this is our storage area. Nice. Okay, we need we need two barrels, right? Yes, two barrels. One barrel. Two barrel and a shelf. Let's put the shelf here. That's nice. And the two barrels there. There! I almost forgot! We could use a pallet of all goods goods. You can ask a drudge to make some room for it next to the inn. A pallet. All purchased products will be put on the pallet. If you don't have it, they will be dumped in front of the inn instead. Make some room. Our drudge is a tough lad. He can easily remove a bush or a rock from the backyard. It will allow for further expansions. Right. I will make some space and put the pallet there. Great. We're ready. All we need to do now is to get the wine. We can find Remney's camp on the edge of the old forest, right next to the border with Sambria. Here's the rest of the advance payment for the wedding. Nice. Okie dokie, I will find the camp in order. Well, let's just first camp. We can, you can try it for, you can trade for goods in a few spots on the map, cities, marketplaces, sports, and so on. These will buy in the bandit camp. Okay. Let's go and check for that. Well, I need to first place down the thing. Okay. Let's let's do one thing after another. I need to build a pallet. Let's put this here for now. There. 
Okay, now we can heal. Bandit camp. Trade. What do we need to trade for? Oh yeah, wine. Okay, was that it? I didn't even check it. Order wine. Yes, I, I did order the wine, did I? Oh yeah, it's arriving. There we go. Forget a little donkey coming. I like these graphics actually. This is all the map. I guess it will grow with time. And this is this should be the donkey actually. Bring stuff. Oh my god, are you are you smoking again? What can I do for you? Come on, Disney. Oh, there's our wine. Nice. Can someone please pick this up? Let's speed that up again. Come on, bring it back in. We need to get back to selling. You've run out of an ingredient by one of the dishes. Nice. First shipment was stored to sex for him. Remney will visit us in two days around this hour. By the time. Let's try to sell or store as much wine as possible. As much as possible. The aviary wants to smuggle a lot across the borders. It's up to you to decide if you want to store the wine safely or sell it in the inn. As long as it's not laying outside on the pallets. Good. Fine. I will get more wine. Smuggle alcohol. <laughs> well. Okay, let's see. Wine sold or store. 27. Okay, let's check. Uh oh. This Hello there, innkeeper. I have returned. Indeed, you have. What can I do for you, Duke? What a pleasure to see you again, dear Duke. Oh, it's you again. Great. Indeed, you have. <laughs> Illegal wine was found in, in an inn not far from here. Quite suspicious, don't you think? An honest innkeeper would never do such a th dishonorable thing. My dear Duke, are you insinuating something? I would never break the law, especially Duke's law. I too have heard about it, my Duke. Such a terrible, terrible thing. What do we do about it? How can someone be selling alcohol when you men are keeping a close watch on the area? 50-50, ooh, 35%, 40%, 40%. Wisdom it is. Haha, <laughs> you indeed quickly become my favorite innkeeper in the area. Keep it up and it will benefit you, no doubt about it. Have a pleasant day, innkeeper. Rockburn, okay, nice, we said something good. Perfect. Let's see if we can get some more wine somewhere in stock. Let's get these. You're taking a break. That's fine for me. There's some... Come on. Someone has to take this. You again! Alright. What can we do for you? Tell it's me. Already been five minutes. And here he is, my favorite innkeeper. Or maybe oh. least favorite? We'll see. Indeed you have. What What can I do for you? What a pleasure to see you again, dear Duke. I've had rumor that someone's selling wine in this area. Oh no, we've got the wine still outside on the wood. <laughs> An honest innkeeper would never do such a dishonorable thing. Why should I care and what do you want with me? It, if it's trouble you're looking for. How can someone be selling alcohol with you, okay? I too have heard. Okay, let's see for the chances. 40. Again, wisdom. Let's try with this. Oh no. Ha! And what exactly are you trying to achieve by saying that, my poor fool? Are you trying to anger the Duke? The Duke who just happens brought his men with him. Ha! If you have nothing to hide, I'm sure you won't mind. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, please, someone take this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh my god, what is happening in this game? No! No, 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 no! Oh my god. No, don't take the wine! They're taking all the wine! Well, please, they will... They will not watch at this, so... Can somebody please... I find it's a good thing that I didn't take... No, 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 where are you going? Where are you going, guys? Okay. So, I really need you... This is a tough life. ...to stop... Oh, you're tired. You're tired. Anyway. I need someone to take this, please. Stop taking a break, stop washing. Please just take this, okay? Stop cleaning. Stop doing the kitchen work. I need this to be inside, please. Oh no. Again! Miss me, innkeeper. I'm sure you knew I'd be back. Indeed, yeah. I can't. Oh, God, it's you again. Let's say. I've heard someone is in the general area is either selling or smuggling alcohol. Let's try this. Okay, good. Oh no, he's right in next to the. Come on, there can't be so much to do. Ah, Remney! There we go. What can I do for you? So, how do you like the smuggling business, my dear innkeepers? It went quite well! Considering that Rockberry was sniffing around. Rockberry was sniffing around, it was quite difficult to pull this all off. No, it was okay, it was okay. If I were you, I'd avoid storing contraband from now on. Luckily we made a few deals with other innkeepers in the area, so Rockberry and his men were literally flooded with our wine. And the bigger the flock, the harder it is to single out one birdie, if you know what I mean. Right, let's talk about the money. Of course, you've earned yourself a pouch of coins. 2,000 gold. Okay, to be honest, I was hoping for more working with an uh, aviary is pure bra Yeah, let's just go for it. <laughs> Farewell, Keeper. Perhaps we'll have an opportunity to work together soon. Oh, nice. Good work. Not only did we do our job, we also almost bankrupted Rockberry. I'm sure you won't be bothering us anymore, and since we can buy booze with ease now, we can finish the wedding preparations. Oh, by the way, I have something that you might find useful. It's my old cookbook. Inside you will find five tested recipes which can be used for a wedding. Nice. Bread soup, gourmet groats, breaded mushrooms, grilled sausage, Bavarian stew. Oh, that sounds nice. Wedding? What wedding? I'll pick something. We need to hire a kitchen hand, order some cooking ingredients and decorate the inn. Do you need help? Yeah, I would say, let's do this. Let's start by hiring a cook. Unfortunately, our inn is small, so no one will want to work for us for now. Let's just hire a standard kitchen hand. I think you already know where to find new workers. Hire a kitchen hand, got it. Let's get somebody new. A kitchen hand. Torsten, the kitchen hand. Nice. Higher. Great. Add two dishes to our menu for the wedding. We are expecting members of two different social groups, outlaws and distressed. You can either try to please both or focus on one. I'm sure they will appreciate it. Different social groups. Add two dishes to the menu and decide which group. Okay. Outlaws and... Okay. We need the menu. No, this is not the room. <laughs> this is the menu. Yes. Let's put something on there. Okay, this is by, liked by the outlaws. And this is the other ones. Distressed, I guess the bread soup is for them. Okay, we will definitely take this because it has just two ingredients. And we will take, I guess, the bread soup. Yes. 
there. I see you've chosen some recipes already. Now check what sort of kitchen where you need to prepare those dishes and then order it from the, for the inn. And remember to install a wood holder nearby. Where do I put all this? You can turn one of the existing rooms into a kitchen or build a new one, it's up to you. Kitchenware and wood holder. Got it. Okay, why not make this to a kitchen? Let's see if this works. Wood holder. Okay, I need a grill and a cauldron. Let's get both. Let's see if this is big enough. Do you actually want a window, maybe? Nice. This way you can watch outside. Now another important part of the business, the ingredients. I will give you contracts to traders from local towns. Try to find the products at cheapest prices. Remember, we also pay for transportation, so order in bulk. Try to also get some wood and plates. Here's the rest of the advance payment I got for expenses. Cheapest prices, wood. We pay transferred. So how much more money are you hiding from me? I just wanted to... Sadly, this is everything. Now it's all up to you, my boy, and your entrepreneur instincts. All right. Order ingredients, obtain five woods and plates. Good. Okay, here we've got the plates for 84. Ah. Maybe we can get them somewhere. Okay, no, for... Here we've got the plates for 100. Here we've got plates also for 100. So... Ah, there's none. It's... No, I can order them. So here we've got the uh, plates. Nice. For 342, the average price is 100. No, we will not get them here. How about plates for 100? I pay 84 here. That's good. We will take these. But I guess we will also need some uh, something else. Some wood. Are you for fire? Firewood. There we go. Okay, average price. This is a little bit higher. Let's check if you can find it somewhere else. Definitely for this price. Okay, but also... Wait a second. I had also these that I wanted. Firewood and this. There we go. This is on those, on its way now. Do you have some, actually some more wine that I can get? Yes. Where's my kitchen at actually? Did I... Did I get it? Yet? Yes, Torsten. Yes, stays. He's working around. Okay, I enabled the chopping wood because I bought this guy here. So now just someone needs to pick this up here. Yes, are you going for it? Perfect. You need to decorate the main hall, check out the available decors and pick something. Remember, each group of guests will like different things. Who do you suggest I cater more? Already told you it's up to you. The outlaws might not enjoy motley flower decorations while the distressed won't like swords and served heads on the wall. In the end, it's the or in you, so you decide on the decorations and which guests will feel more at home. Okay, I'll decorate the inn. Let's see what we got. Decors. Well, I like this shield here. Gate of flowers, that's nice. I mean, it's a wedding after all, so... There, we will make a corner. There. There. Serve food in the inn. Yes, I'm on it. I ordered it. I know I didn't prepare it yet, but I ordered it. Come on, we can't just leave it outside here. 
Do I need to get another guy here? I guess I need some more people. Let's hire another grudge, shall we? Grudge. Raymond. Hire. Malaika, servant. Yes. Okay. People are starting to grab the stuff that got ordered. There's almost nobody. Well, there is nobody anymore in our inn. I guess this was uh, successful. <laughs> Maybe successful first try of the game. It definitely can get messy very quickly, but I like it. It's cool. So, I would say we will close this up right after the episode. And next time we will jump straight back in and try to get more stuff working and also prepare and maybe yeah host the, the miller's meat. wedding so until then i wish you a wonderful day wonderful evening wonderful night see you soon bye bye <laughs>